So we're heading out to the courts. I'm gonna go meet with my buddy Bill. It's gonna kill me if I tell you this. I think he's 78 years old and he plays four to five times a week. He is absolutely obsessed with tennis and people are talking about all these crazy things that they're doing with the start of the new year. And I forget the guy's name, but he was a trainer of MMA fighters. And he's talking about why the Russian uh, MMA fighters are better fighters than the, than the US. And he's saying that it's because they train every single day, but they very rarely train to failure. If you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because what you're doing is firing and wiring those connections in your brain that are linking those skills and uh, you're doing it more regularly and you're able to do it every day because you're never training to failure. It's a oh. holiday today. It's a holiday? Yeah. What holiday Jewish is it? Holiday. Jewish holiday? Yeah. <laughs> so this is my buddy Bill. This guy has so much energy, it's ridiculous, okay? He's, how old are you? I'll be 79. 79, he's got more energy than 21 year olds. Uh, he's gonna help me, he's awesome. He's probably the best teacher on the planet Earth. He's amazing. And besides, he's a nice guy too. All right, checks in the mail. <laughs> All right. All right, so we just did a little bit of mini tennis. Now we'll hit some from the baseline and see what's happening. One of the things I learned from Don Henson is always give your partner, your practice partner, what he or she needs. So right now what I want to do is give Bill really good rhythm to let him get into rhythm. So we were hitting some balls and, and Bill was spraying him a little. So I asked him if he could hit five balls in a row down the middle of the court pretty deep. So I gave him a target and I gave him a number, targets and numbers. So as soon as you start feeling yourself go awry, give yourself a number and give yourself a target and that'll help get you back on track. All right, if you want a slice of humble pie, see if you can hit five balls in a row the same way in the same location. This is the ultimate test. Now what Sterling and Dan do at The Art of Winning is they have a little trick that I really like. It's called one-two reset. So the whole concept is you hit two shots in a row because two shots in a row is pretty easy and it has a translation to when you start playing matches because you want to set up shots. So you want to hit two shots in a row strategically and then resetting and then hitting two shots in a row again. All right, so we're gonna take the sting out of five in a row and we're gonna go for two in a row. And once he hits two in a row, we're gonna reset and then do two in a row again. Let's see what happens. Bill, we just finished the one-two reset. How did it change your perspective of hitting multiple balls in a row? Was it easier to hit two in a row versus five in a row? Less pressure. Less pressure? Less, less pressure. And I felt it's a very reasonable expectation that I could do two in a row. And is the one-two reset, does that help just clear your mind? Oh, much simpler. Uh, no stress. More relaxed. Absolutely. And what's yeah. great about this is we're setting up an actual um, application of this in a match because what we don't want to do is fall into the trap of just going for one shot, right? And just trying to hit a winner or trying to hit something miraculous. You want to start thinking about strategically two shot sequences and Sterling and Dan talk about this, but basically we hit two in a row, we reset, and then we hit two in a row again. I love it. I love By the way, not the easiest thing, right? To have a camera on you and having to execute uh, whatever we're trying to do. But Bill's doing a phenomenal job here. Let's keep it going. Something you'd like to add to your forehand. What are you looking for? A little more oomph. A little more oomph. A little so. more. I like to flatten it out a little more and hit a little more MPHs on it. So the first thing we're gonna work on with Bill is his balance, okay? And this goes for you. If you're at home and you're practicing something, the first thing you gotta do is make sure you're balanced. Because if you can't be balanced, if you don't have a stable foundation, it's really hard to make long lasting changes. Okay, Bill, so show me the rhythm and the balance at the end. Forehand side, go. Hold it. Good, okay, backhand side. Go. 
Good. Bill, what did you just tell me? I said it's so weird. You said you don't care if it's in. You right. just want me to hold it. Right. And every shot has been in. Isn't that amazing? Now, what did you notice about your balance? Feel more stable? Well, I did. Uh huh. Because I held it. Uh huh. And, yeah. And you just said that the shots were all going in. I was amazed. Absolutely incredible, right? And this is this goes for any shot. First thing you want to do is make sure that you're balanced because we cannot have variables when we're making technical changes. You got to have a constant and the constant first is balance. So Bill, what did that do for you? It built confidence in myself. Hmm. It really did. I mean, I was having trouble hitting the shots, but when you got me to like hold it and you wanted to see my balance, I knew exactly what I had to accomplish. Interesting. And, and my shots were all good. Very and good. You said you didn't care where they went, but they were good. <laughs> I was really not feeling really good about swinging or my game. I mean, I was almost ready to give up tennis, to be honest with you. But you got me today, and it's like, wow, you just broke it down, first with the one, two balls, down the line. But then when you got me, we hold it. Uh -huh. When I swing, forehand and backhand, and the key thing you said to me was, I don't care where it goes, just hold it. And that took so much pressure off of me, because it's like, and my balls were going in. Right. When I tried, I couldn't get it, but when I didn't care, I just was trying to do the form, it worked. It's amazing. And so, this is an amazing thing, because Bill works out every single day. He's an inspiration. Guys meet him, he thinks they think he's 40. Yeah, and, if there's any girls watching, I'm really 48. <laughs> <laughs> there are some watching. We'll flash his number down below. <laughs> so, but but he is so active, and being away from the game for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, right? Two months. Two months being away from the game, it's easy to get down on yourself and get discouraged. But what Bill did is he got back on the horse number one, and then we started from the ground up. We started from foundational skills. So if you're taking a break from tennis, start with the foundational stuff. Start with the balance, the contact point, staying loose, being in rhythm, these things. And if you do it strategically, you'll get back in the swing just like Bill did. Well, let me tell you, it works. It totally works. I feel like from the time we walked on the court to now that we're finished, I feel my game, my hitting is improved at least 40%. It's yeah, amazing. I mean, amazing. I have more confidence now going up to the ball. What I'm supposed to do, I'm more relaxed and I'm more confident. I feel really good about myself. And we haven't even started talking about how to make bad calls. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ramon. My You're pleasure. Awesome.